Okay, y'all. I know it's been a minute since I've been on to him. It's been a minute. But I've been doing some things. Taking care of some business. Get some stuff done around the house. I ain't gonna be on here long. I'll talk to y'all until I, I get to the house. I look like they selling dope. Mm. It's a way. Talk to you guys till I get to my house. Uh, while I'm talking about they selling dope, I need to stop and give me some cigars for my for my weed. <laughs> and I'll do that uh, up in, in a minute. But anyway. Y'all been all right? Y'all doing all right, huh? Y'all all right? Y'all all right? Y'all all right? Huh? Y'all listen. Y'all know I be out here in the motherfucking streets. All over the motherfucking place. I be at the bingo motherfucking streets. I be on the Instagram motherfucking streets. I be on the YouTube motherfucking streets. I'm all in the motherfucking streets, okay? So I see a lot of shit. Oh, that's kind of neat, huh? You got the... I bet that's a tin roof, though. It look like, oh, hell no, it's too hot for a tin roof. I had enough of that shit when I was a kid. But anyway, I be in these motherfucking streets. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All over the motherfucking Metroplex in these streets. Excuse me. I'm burping because I had a Coke. And I've been going away from the home for so long that I had to stop and get me some murder freaking food. But any murder freaking way. Y'all, I, I just wanted to say, uh, if you got young girls, young boys, young men and women, women that's going to grow up to be somebody. Can't save people who don't want to be saved. And them motherfuckers over there with uh, funk ass, they don't want to be saved. Them people don't want to be saved. Y'all leave them people alone. They don't want to be saved. They don't want to work. They don't want to be responsible for nothing, no one, nobody but themselves. And they don't really want to be in control of themselves because if they did, they wouldn't give themselves to funk ass. It is your bishop. They wouldn't do that to themselves. But they let him have control of their life. Because they don't want to do those things. They don't want to work. They don't want to be responsible for nothing else. And nobody. Not even their own damn kids. They left their kids. They left their own fucking kids. To come over here and be with this fuck boy. They left their kid with the other parent. Some of them didn't leave him with the other parent. They left him with family mirror. To go over here and be with his ass. Because they know they could. Kind of live in a life of luxury. But you know what motherfuckers. That shit has got consequences behind it. And y'all consequences. It's about him whooping y'all motherfucking ass and slapping and slapping y'all upside the goddamn head. Yes. And you do what the fuck he do. You don't want to do what your parents say do or the people who you living with. You don't want to do what they say do. And you don't want to be responsible because you feel like they making you. So you rather go there and be abused by this funky motherfucker over him. So by you not working... Not taking care of yourself. Taking care of your love. If you got kids. And let him have all access of your life and control. He can whoop your motherfucking ass when he get motherfucking ready. So y'all rather do that than to go out and be responsible. I don't get it. 
I don't motherfucking get it. But the ones that we have back here, if y'all have kids, that's what I was going to say until I got off track a little bit. So let me come back on the track. If y'all have kids, little ones, that are going to grow up to be big ones and grown ones, y'all teach them. We got a lot of young parents out here now that's not teaching these kids shit. Not a damn thing. Not shit. We got parents out here who want to be friends instead of being parents. It's all right to be friends with your kid, but that's a goddamn line that you draw in the motherfucking sand, okay? Some of y'all are grandma before you need to be grandmas. Because you didn't draw the line in the goddamn sand. I ain't saying be tight on your kids. Still have a little leeway on them. I'm going to go get some gas. I got to get some gas. Still. But know where they at. At all times. Know what they doing. At all times. I'm not saying don't let them go. Let them go. But also keep an eye on their ass. And don't just let them go with no any motherfucking body. Know who they with. Know who they surrounded by. Know what the fuck going on with your child. Communication is the key to dealing with these kids. I'm going to tell you. I may have told the story already, but I'm going to tell you right quick. Then I got to go in and get some gas. And I'm not bragging when I say this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just being honest. I have two kids. I have two. And they are very successful. Thank you, Lord. They are very successful. And I believe that if I wasn't around as much as I was, the streets would have got them. And they'd end up with some bullshit over here like Nature Boy. Maybe. I don't know. But a little short story. This last husband I was with, he uh, wanted me to go to school. And I said, mm mm. I don't have no problem going to school, but going back to school, but mm mm. I got kids now. Back when I went to school, uh, Went to El Centro. I didn't have no kids. But I got kids now. And I'm not about to leave these kids in this motherfucking house to go to work school at night. And I don't know who the fuck gonna be in my house. I don't even know if they gonna be in the goddamn house. Oh, he was so mad at me about that because he was going to school too. We both out the damn house. Any motherfucking thing could happen. They can have anybody in this motherfucker. So no, I'm not, um, I'm good. And this motherfucker was so mad at me. But not going to uh, school. Y'all want them now? You want this to take care of you? I don't want nobody to take care of me. I ain't never wanted no motherfucker to take care of me. Because guess what? I can take care of my own motherfucking self. I can take care of my own motherfucking self. But anyway. I think by me not doing that. And listening to this motherfucker. I don't mean no harm y'all. I, when I say motherfucker. That's just a term. I use I just I just like to cuss. I might call you a bitch. I don't really mean bitch like that, depending on what it is situation is. But anyway, I believe if I listened to this motherfucker and, and went off to night school to get an education for myself, I don't believe these kids would have been where they at now. Uh uh. That's just my thinking. But y'all, talk to your kids. And if you don't have a good relationship or a good poor and good poor with your children, 
Y'all do whatever you have to or can to make that right. Because I'm going to tell you, if me and my kids had a bad relationship, I couldn't take it. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't take it. But a lot of y'all have bad relationship with your kids because you're a bad parent. And now that y'all y'all won't blame it on the kid, blame it on your motherfucking self. I'm being honest with you. I don't give a fuck who like it and who don't like it. Blame it on your motherfucking self. You was a bad motherfucking parent. And it was some shit that you didn't do right that caused that child to go astray from your funky, dirty ass. And since it's your motherfucking fault that you and that child you didn't do what you were supposed to do as a motherfucking parent. It's your motherfucking responsibility to get their ass back on track. You do whatever the fuck it takes to get your kid back to you. I don't give a fuck if it is got sucked ass, sucked the motherfucking asshole. It's the asshole you created, okay? Y'all, this world we got, we in now, the young folk is going to take over. And they're going to fuck it up big time. They're going to fuck it up over the stars, the moon, the sun, up past the goddamn sky. And I don't know if you can go higher than the sky. But they're going to fuck it up. All because of you rotten motherfucking ass parents. I said it. Yes, I said it. You motherfuckers rotten. And you don't know how to be parents. Well, I got to get off of this mother fofo. And I got to put some uh, petrol in this bitch bitch. <laughs> but y'all have a good day. Nah, bitch, you ain't hungry. You just ate some jack and a crack. So stop that shit. Y'all hear my stomach. That bitch ain't hungry. I just ate some jack and crack. Hell, it just had some crack jack. What the fuck? And we drinking Pepsi. Coke. So, bitch, she ain't hungry. She playing. But anyway, y'all, it's nice here in Texas. The weather is pretty, pretty goddamn hot. Do you hear me? It's pretty motherfucking hot here. Oh, uh, what was I supposed to do? But y'all take care of and get the shit right with your kids and talk to your kids so make sure they don't go over here to you know with somebody like Funky Box cause I'm telling you these little motherfucking hands popping up these little old uh, tribe cups or I don't know what the fuck to call them but they popping them up all over cause they're listening to him if he'd have done this right and told it right it probably would have been something good but this nigga fucked it up by doing all this old fuck shit with it. But y'all talk to your kids. Get your kids right. I see a her. Y'all come down. I'll take her when I get home. But uh, talk to your kids. Because these young people, when they say they are future, they are future. But they they going to fuck it up, the future. Because of y'all, old dusty funk ass, ain't taught them shit. Mm-hmm. It's y'all fault. But I got to get off here and put some petrol in this bitch. I ain't about to run out of gas, but I don't like to keep the bitch low. It don't make her feel right. Right, baby? All right, y'all. Y'all have a nice day here in Texas. It's hot, like I said. I don't know what the, what the temperature is. Because I've been out running, running, running. I've been trying to listen to, to Ty. But I got some recordings that I got of her while I was been in and out the car. So I'll put them up. Her and World. I'll put them up a little bit later. But I just had to jump on him for these 14 minutes and say that shit, okay? All right. Deuces.